Welcome children are you ready for your physics class and this is your ISC class 12th physics practical class now here i am going to discuss explain the circuit along with the uh, observation table the calculation which you are supposed to write in your exam and i have to perform the same experiment and i hope that you will be performing this experiment along with me are uh, getting all the concepts of the circuit so this is question number 1 of physics practical paper 2018 and i'm discussing it first because if the practical exams happen then this circuit is very much in for the paper so in this experiment you have to keep the uh, voltage at 2 volt then you are supposed to take out the 1 ohm plug from resistance box that means you are supposed to include 1 ohm resistance in the circuit then you have to place chalky on the wire ab and you have to find a point where the galvanometer reaches zero so let us see the circuit in this circuit we are having a resistance box a 50 cm resistance wire the resistance wire ab is of 4 ohm per meter resistance and the resistance wire this coiled resistance wire is of same material which is the material of wire ab so if it is 4 ohm per meter and this is 50 cm wire so obviously this will be 2 ohm resistance and an eliminator is connected with battery a uh, with terminal a positive terminal with terminal a and negative terminal of the battery with terminal b in connecting during connection of the circuit what we will do we will take out a wire from uh, terminal a and will connect with the screw of the resistance box then one wire we will take out from resistance box one from galvanometer and one from coil resistance and we will join it here the other end of the galvanometer is connected with the jockey and jockey will uh, should have the long wire because it have to move on the wire ab and the coil resistance second end will be connected on the wire terminal b so actually this is wheat stone bridge arrangement and the first step they asked is take out one ohm resistance from the resistance box and find that point on the wire ab where you get zero of the galvanometer we will call it null deflection length and the resistance you are taking out is represented with alphabet x and whatever resist whatever length you got where the uh, galvanometer is reading zero that length is represented with alphabet l now once you got the respective null deflection length for 1 ohm then you have to repeat this experiment for 2 3 4 5 and 6 ohm also here they are asking you write the length l up to one decimal place so as i told you always have a pencil in your hand when you get the paper and note uh, underline all the points which they are asking you to write in the copy because every that part which is they are which you are supposed to write in your practical copy is assigned a mark then after getting x and l they are asking you to calculate a quantity y which is length upon 100 minus l l upon 100 minus l up to two decimal places so you have to take care of these things this is one decimal place this is two decimal places then you have to make a table in which the ohm that is the x null deflection length and the quantity y is properly tabled in the columns with correct units after that 
here they are asking that any one of these five six readings you have to show to your visiting examiner and after making the table you are supposed to plot a graph y versus x y versus x and best fit line beta 1 mark is assigned to the best fit line only so i have explained you earlier also and i'll explain in this experiment also how to find the best fit line for the isc practical exam or for any graph whether it is cbse exam or isc exam how to find how to draw the graph what precautions we have to take care and how to draw best fit line and then you have to calculate slope so to calculate slope also we have to take care of few things those also i have explained earlier and i'll explain in this experiment also and at the end once you calculated slope you have to calculate one upon slope and the one upon slope will give you the resistance r now they are not giving what is this resistance r but through analysis of the circuit we will find out what is this resistance r and what should be its answer yes one thing uh, more the last point that you should calculate resistance r up to one decimal place and with correct unit right so this is something which you have to take care beta now here i want to show you one more thing beta this is 2011 question paper the same circuit is here and in fact same steps are also you are asked to perform see you can go through this paper also this is 2011 paper and same steps are you are asked to perform so what you are supposed to do that when you are writing this experiment in practical copy you have to mention 2011 also so that you come to know that this is such an important circuit and you are asked to perform this experiment in 2011 also here one more thing is interesting that here this wire which we have used in the experiment resistance wire they asked to find its diameter and then they asked to find the quantity k using this formula where r is the resistance which you get from this equation that is from the result of question number 2 of 2011 so we will include this part also in today's experiment and we will use a screw gauge to find diameter of the wire and then we will calculate the quantity k also along with this experiment this is part of 2011 so write it as the part of 2011 in your practical copy so let us move to the observation table how observation table we are going to frame and the analysis of the circuit now check out the circuit beta this is actually wheat stone bridge arrangement this is resistance 1 this is resistance 2 and galvanometer is dividing this resistance wire in two parts so this is r1 r2 r3 r4 you can say and you have to take observation when there is no reading in the galvanometer galvanometer reads zero this implies there is no current through the resist, uh, galvanometer and this implies that potential of point c is equal to potential of point d so this is balanced wheat stone bridge when you are taking reading from this circuit potential of these two points is equal and in this condition the resistance of this branch upon resistance of this branch should be equal to resistance of this branch upon resistance of this branch so when i am writing resistance of this branch that means i am talking about x upon 
resistance of this length of the wire can be written as k times length of this wire because resistance is directly proportional to length of the wire so i have written here x upon resistance of length ac is equal to r upon resistance of length cb and then resistance of ab can be written as a constant times length of ac and resistance of cb is written as a constant times length of cb now k is get cancelled and you are left with this formula <clears throat> actually this is the key formula on which this whole experiment is based now let we simplify it and rearrange it i am taking the r at one side and rest all the things on the other side and if you are doing so you will get expression 100 minus l upon l into x rearrange it again you can write x upon l divided by 100 minus l but this quantity in the paper is given as quantity y so we can write in place of this quantity the symbol y i can write it change in x upon change in y y because i again will rearrange this expression i can write it as 1 upon y2 minus y1 upon bring it in the denominator x2 minus x1 and this is slope of the graph y versus x which they are asking you to draw so they are asking you to draw a graph then find its slope and then calculate one upon slope and through analysis we got that one upon slope is nothing but this resistance small r which is here in the circuit this 50 cm wire which has the resistance to ohm so actually they are asking you to calculate this resistance through this experiment so we just have to find this analysis because we want to know that what should be the answer what what the answer supposed to be and we came to know that this resistance value is the answer which they are asking in the question now very important is the observation table and the observations pattern so just looking at the expression which is responsible for the observation of this experiment if you increase x if you increase x to balance this bridge to keep the galvanometer at zero mark that is no res no, no current through this uh, wire and c and d to be at same potential we have to increase this l also according to the balanced wheat stone bridge situation if x is increased the l should increase to keep this ratio equal to this ratio getting the point so what should be the pattern of our observations pattern of the observation is that if x is increasing to keep the ratio x of and y what is y l upon 100 minus l keep this ratio constant l should also increase because if l is increasing you can easily find out that 100 minus l will decrease if l is increasing 100 minus l is decreasing so overall if x is increasing l will increase and y will also increase we can write it here if x is increasing then l will increase and y will also increase which should appear in our observation 
table so this should be the pattern which should be visible in the observation if we are performing our experiment correctly right now come to observation table how we have to draw the observation table because in the examination copy you are supposed to write only three headings one is observation no object no apparatus nothing observation this is first heading and so in the practical copy also you are supposed to write the observation calculation and result in calculation you will be calculating anything which they are asking for example slope and quantity r which is 1 upon slope clear so now we are moving to the observation table so this is the way proper way to represent your observation table first column for serial number then the resistance box in ohms then whatever null deflection length you are getting from the experiment in centimeter then show your calculation 100 minus l here don't jump and then calculate y is equal to l upon 100 minus l and there is no unit because length and length they are having same unit in numerator and denominator now i am dividing this experiment in two videos one in which i have discussed you i have shown you the question paper of 2018 and the question paper of 2011 which are quite same except that in 2011 they ask you to find the diameter and to calculate a quantity k which we will calculate in this experiment also then we discuss the analysis we discuss the circuit how, why circuit is uh, performing in a way and what is the answer uh, supposed to be which they are asking you in the question paper and then pattern of the observation table and observation after that i'm giving you this observation table draw it and get ready with your pencil and along with me perform the experiment which i'll uh, show you in the next video perform the experiment and directly note in the observation table here so let us move to the next class in which i am going to connect the circuit and perform this experiment